day to everybody. Uh, today I again uh, I am coming with uh, a more interesting topic, genetics. Actually, genetics is very important for us. Uh, genetics, uh, our uh, behavior, do characteristic, uh, immunity power, and the disease trend, all are depending upon this genetics. So we uh, should know the. Uh, uh, genetics, the secret of life. So, our uh, today our uh, this topic of discussion is genetics. Now, what is genetics? Genetics is the scientific study of inheritance or heredity and uh, variability of organisms. This is called genetics. Genetics actually modern genetics began with the work of uh, the Austrian monk uh, Gregor Johann Mendel, um, uh, his work on a peace plant uh, was published in 1866, which is called Mendelian Inheritance. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates uh, suggested that the, all organs of the body of a parents gave off invisible seeds. Uh, uh, miniature components of life uh, uh, was transmitted during the uh, sexual intercourse and uh, this combines in the womb's uh, mother's womb to form a baby and uh, in 1915 uh, this uh, uh, Gregor uh, the principles of uh, Mendel inheritance was uh, uh, studied or uh, applied in the some uh, insects like um, uh, Drosophila melanogaster uh, and by Thomas Hunt uh, and in 1925 the uh, Mend Mendelian inheritance theory was accepted uh, was accepted in 1925 this is the actually the history of uh, genetics now uh, when we are talking about genetics the first and uh, the important thing is that we have to know the chromosome. What is chromosome? Chromosome is a, is a thread-like structure made of uh, protein histone and a one molecule of DNA uh, which will serve to carry the, um, uh, uh, carry the genetic information from cell to cell. Uh, and um, uh, generally the chromosome resides in the nucleus of the cell and uh, the uh, chromosome is very important now uh, what is the structure of the chromosome uh, actually we have seen it like that it is uh, like that structure of the chromosome like that and this central hinge part this is a hinge of the chromosome actually two pairs of chromosome are present there same same type of chromosome which is called homologous chromosome they are present and the central part of the chromosome is called hinge part it is centromere this is called centromere and these two are the uh, uh, arm of the chromosome which is called chromatid Now the chromosomes are present in uh, diploid form. Diploid form. Diploid form. Diploid form means uh, it is present in pairs. Always uh, the homologous chromosome means same type of chromosome, same type of chromosome will be present in pairs. That means uh, two copies. This is called diploid form. And all the eukaryotic cell will contain the deployed number of chromosome means always the multiple of two they are present many means even number even number of chromosome are present in plants animals and all uh, eukaryotic cells including human beings also and animals so uh, this is a present in the this present in the form of deployed form which is a multiple of two and but in case of prokaryotic cell means bacterial cell the, the chromosome is haploid only one chromosome is present 
and there one circular DNA is present inside the chromosome. Actually, chromosome contains the DNA, the gene of a organism. Gene means the uh, character of the functional functional unit of inheritance or heredity, which is called gene. Gene actually actually made of DNA deoxyribonucleic acid, and uh, this uh, gene will be the um, actually due to the gene our phenotypic and genotypic characteristic will be determined what is genotype genotype is the gene constitution of the cell is called genotype and phenotype is the uh, expression of genotype in observable properties characteristic of cell is called phenotype whatever we have seen uh, outside world it is called phenotype characteristic of a um, animal or any plant it is called phenotype. So this is the diploid form of chromosome. Two pairs are present, and this is a generally homologous chromosome. Now uh, they are in uh, they are present in diploid form. So the two n means two uh, two n uh, form diploid form, which is called diploid form, different. Organisms will con contain different number of chromosomes. Like uh, uh, peas, peas plant, it will contain 14 chromosomes. Onion, it will contain 16 chromosomes. Uh, potato, it will contain 48 chromosomes. Like that, uh, Drosophila, I have I already discuss about this Drosophila contains only eight chromosome. Mosquito contains only six chromosome, and fly contains uh, twelve chromosomes. All are in even number, multiple of two. And human in human case. Uh, contains 46 chromosome means 23 pairs of chromosome same same uh, one set of 23 pair and 23 pairs uh, 23 chromosome one of one pair and another pair and this pair are both same i have shown in the picture that uh, how it is uh, looking like so these are the, uh, the two n diploid form chromosome in eukaryotic cell, all the eukaryotic cell and um, uh, organisms and plants and animals like that. Now, um, uh, in chromosome, genes are present and place this chromosome are uh, in length 0 0.2 to 50 micron generally and in width generally 0 0.2 to 2 micron. The chromosome size will be different in case of human beings. All chromosomes are not the same like the uh, chromosome pairs. 23 pairs are there. All chromosomes are not same actually. They are different in their size and they contain different number of genes in their uh, inside inside the chromosome. So uh, the chromosome in case of human beings, the chrom chromosome uh, which contains the ma uh, maximum uh, genes is chromosome one. Chromosome one contains maximum number of genes which is two nine nine six eight genes and chromosome y contains the least number of genes which is actually the two three one genes by 231 and chromosome 21 is the smallest gene which contains 300 genes so different chromosome pair will contain a different type of a different number of genes so all are not same. Now another two terms will come at about this point now we are discussing about the chromosome. One is there are two types of chromosome are generally present in eukaryotic cell. One is called autosome, autosome, and another is called allosomes. What is autosomes? Autosomes are the chromosome. Uh, generally, they are determine. They will determine the uh, 
uh, phenotypic characteristic uh, other physical characteristic of the organism except sex linked um, characteristic which is called autosome and allosome is the sex chromosome which will determine the sex of a particular organism so uh, uh, what is the difference between autosome and uh, allosome there are two type of chromosome in a somatic cell in our body somatic cell will contain 44 means 22 pairs of autosomes and two uh, one pair uh, one pair of um, one pair of two uh, sex chromosome which is called allosome like in male it will uh, the male will contains x y uh, chromosome one pair and in case of female it contain uh, x x chromosome this is our these are allo, these are allosomes and what is the difference of autosome i have told that in the definition what is the difference between autosome and allosome basic difference between and this uh, allosomes are generally uh, the somatic cell 44 uh, autosomes and two allosomes uh, 40, uh, two allosomes and in sex cells contain only 23 allosomes uh, 22 allosomes and one uh, so sorry 23 uh, autosomes and one allosome so half number of um, uh, chromosome will contain the sex chromosome which will which are called gametes actually which are called gametes because they are half number for that reason when they fertilize combine with each other they will give the ultimate diploid number 46 so they are half because their fertilization is required for the, to make the zygote or embryo so uh, this is the uh, basic concept and thus the, 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 this um, uh, somatic cells uh, are di uh, divided in the, by the process of mitotic cell division where the chromosome number will be doubled and uh, cell number will be also doubled and in case of allosomes they are produced by meiosis uh, cell division where the uh, nucleus will be divided twice but chromosome will be divided once so that one uh, nucleus will contain half number of chromosome half set of chromosome this is the basic thing now uh, we are coming to the experiment of gregor johann mendel he has done with the pea plants uh, actually, he, he, he selected seven traits or characteristic of um, uh, pea plants, and he uh, mixed, uh, fertilized the different characters of the pea plants, and he see he want, wanted to see the outcome of that. Here uh, to prove his theory, Mendelian theory of uh, uh, of inheritance or heredity. So. Uh, what he uh, did in this case actually uh, before uh, discussing about his the experiment we have to tell one thing uh, definitely this is called alleles and this term is alleles what is alleles alleles are the we are we have told that the, the chromosome are present in the pair but the same time type of chromosome are uh, present in the uh, nucleus uh, they are called homologous chromosome means uh, 23 pairs means uh, one pair will be contain will contain same type of chromosome and same type of gene at uh, in at the same location uh, of the dna uh, that was the chromosome so this is called uh, homologous chromosome but some uh, this uh, uh, homo between this homologous chromosome in the DNA some difference can be happened and this different versions of same gene is called um, uh, is called the alleles different version of the same gene is called the alleles and from this alleles there are two terms will come one is dominant dominant allele and another is recessive allele dominant allele means uh, which characteristic will be uh, expressed 
in the um, organism which is called dominant allele and which gene will be expressed uh, suppressed by the dominant allele is called the recessive allele like uh, in, in our case the, our uh, eye color may be uh, dark dark or light our blood group may be a b uh, our uh, 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 like that our right handedness is dominant over left handedness we uh, we find very few people of left handedness i we are generally finding that uh, light uh, right handedness is uh, more in number so right handedness is the dominant uh, uh, phenotype or dominant allele allele uh, over uh, left handedness and in case of uh, pea plants there are same thing will be happen and uh, uh, dominant and recessive uh, allele both are allele both are present there and uh, there is no universal mechanism of uh, dominant allele or recessive allele it is due to the because of the protein produced by the gene that can be varied uh, and the expression of protein Oh, where, when, and how the protein will be expressed depending on this, the traits, dominant traits, and uh, inheritance and recessive inheritance will be exp expressed. So I will discuss about this: what is dominant dominant uh, uh, phenotype and what is recessive allele phenotype. Huh. Now, uh, the, uh, this uh, protein produced by the gene. Uh, affects the traits so the some variation in the gene will cause the uh, change in the inheritance this is the main theme of this dominant and recessive allele now what uh, gregor johan mendel has done in his experiment actually he has take, uh, he has taken seven traits uh, we will discuss discuss here about only one characteristic to understand to understand in uh, in simple way so, so that we will take one trait one one uh, dominant or decisive allele uh, like uh, uh, tall tall pea plants will be denoted by t it is it is dominant it is dominant the capital t and the short pea trees P, uh, P uh, plants will be denoted by small p. It is recessive. So generally, uh, tall is dominant in case of p plants. T is recessive. Allele. Now, when um, uh, when the Gregor Johann Mendel, um, what he had has done, he has taken one pure p t capital T capital T. And another small t, small t. It is recessive. It is short plant, homologous, homozygous plant. It is called homozygous because there is no different allele, uh, dominant or recessive. It is dominant. It is tall. It is tall. Now he fertilized this type of pure homologous uh, pea plant. One is tall, one is short. What? What will be happen in this case? I will show you by a table. You can understand it better. Now, what has been done? Uh, the, he has taken the two pure homologous pea plant. One is uh, uh, capital T, and another is small t. And uh, there will be oh, uh, this will be the I have told you. Uh, half number of chromosome will be present. This is uh, male gametes. It is female gametes. Now he cross this hybrid, this uh, uh, characteristic tall and short between two uh, pure uh, plants, pure homologous plants. Now what will he will get? T T. It is dominant. It is recessive. T T. It is also dominant recessive. And uh, uh, T T. Also dominant and means all the traits are mixed. This is called heterozygous. Means dominant and 
the recessive both are present in the plant four plants produced from this by the fertilization of these two uh, pure uh, plants homologous plants now all these are dominant in we have present so dominant traits characteristic will be expressed so all the plants are here are um, uh, uh, tall type tall type uh, short that uh, LA will LA will be repressed here, it will be suppressed here. So now, if uh, then he will take the two mixed heterozygous plant and fertilize it again. So what will be happen there? He will take and this gamete will be one T and uh, capital T and small T. Here also the mixed. Uh, he takes now the mixed produced from this. Now what will be happen? It will be TT, pure homologous tall plant. It is with T, it is okay, uh, TT, and it is with TT okay. And this one is the pure uh, homologous short plant because here all two allele are uh, recessive, and so that the recessive characters will be expressed here. So we will get one pure uh, tall plant, two uh, mixed or heterozygous uh, tall plant and one uh, pure short plant. So uh, if your recessive character will be uh, expressed, you have to uh, contain the two um, the recessive allele altogether. So you can get the recessive alleles there. Now, now, in human beings, there is a, a characteristic uh, of uh, this uh, thing, uh, one disease is produced due to the dominant and recessive allele is hemophilia, which is called hemophilia. Hemophilia. What is the disease hemophilia? Hemophilia is the uh, uh, problem of clotting of blood. If any part of the our body cut, then uh, what happened? The blood will be will be flowing continuously. It will be not clotted properly due to the uh, absence or deficiency of uh, the protein required for this clotting. And this is due to the genetic defect. This is the genetic disease, and it is the sex-linked disease. Sex-linked disease means. This gene will be present in the either X or Y chromosome, uh, allosomes. So, hemophilia is the um, uh, recessive trait, recessive phenotype, uh, allele. Uh, so, you, if you get the patient of this disease with hemophilia, is the she, he or she should contain the, both the recessive allele so that it will show the defect. Otherwise, if you is mixed with the uh, good one with uh, um, uh, recessive one, hemophilia disease, then it will not express properly. So this is the thing. And another disease, like uh, another common, very common or popular disease, uh, genetic disease, also is sickle sickle cell. Sickle cell disease. What happened in this disease? Sickle cell disease causes the uh, um, causes the pain and um, um, the pain and the damage to the muscle and organ. What happened? The generally the our white blood cells means uh, RBC, red blood uh, sorry our red blood cells means RBC are uh, in shape generally they are flattened and round shape. But due to the disease. And uh, they will uh, deform, they will be deformed, the RBC will be deformed and red blood cell and they will be steep and sickle like structure. Huh? The, like sickle like structure, like that. PBSE they will be like that and uh, when the disease will be happened, they will like that. Sickle cell, steep. So this is the disease and sickle cell anemia disease is the recessive trait. And dominant is the uh, healthy people we call, um, contain the dominant disease. Now what happened is the, due to the sickle cell of the steepness of the uh, red blood cells, they are 
actually they are combined in the capillaries and they block the blood flow. Then our muscle and organ will not get the enough oxygen and nutrition and they begin to die. This is the actual disease. Now, when we have the sickle cell allele with this thing, say that this is a sickle cell, uh, it will be a uh, 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 healthy person, will uh, dominant traits and this age uh, recessive sickle cell anemia allele or gene is the this type. And if it is a mixed heterozygous uh, type uh, organism or people like that, then they will not produce the disease because it is recessive traits. Dominant will uh, suppress the recessive character. But uh, you, uh, you have to get the, both the um, allele with recessive traits, then they will show the sickle cell disease. But it has been uh, seen that thus where who, those who have the sickle cell allele with the, in that gene, uh, they have the common uh, test of re resistance to malaria, a serious illness malaria caused by mosquito. And uh, the, this the malaria resistance to malaria disease is the dominant element. But at the same time, the, uh, due to the presence of the uh, 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 Due to the presence of the recessive allele, uh, this recessive allele for the sickle cell anemia, it is recessive character. But in the case of resistance to the malaria, it is dominant character. So, uh, these genetics are very important for our um, different type of genetic diseases. And uh, depending on the genetics, some revolution like white revolution and uh, green revolution uh, has been occurred so that we are getting the benefit of this revolution. So, who, uh, this, uh, we have to know these things very clearly so that it will be clear to us what will be genetics and what is its effect on our life and uh, overall life. So, uh, it is very interesting. I hope that you find it very interesting. And please uh, uh, watch and subscribe the video. And uh, later on, I, I will discuss same type of uh, topic like that. And you should keep watching my video. Thank you.